Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with another review of a LEGO related product. In this case, it's the updated periodic table of LEGO element colors from the company We Love What You Build. I've never heard of this company before, but I did see this product advertised on Brickset.com where they were offering 10% off of this item with the code Brickset at checkout. It retails for 50 euros and I think it's pretty awesome, so let's go ahead and unbox it. Before we do that though, I do want to remind you guys that I am a LEGO employee, but all opinions expressed in my videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the LEGO group, and LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO group of companies which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. So as you can see, I haven't taken this out of the packaging yet because I like opening things on camera. I feel like it makes it more fun uh, for you guys to kind of like see my like genuine reactions for the first time when I open something. So first off, it looks like there's a bunch of stickers, which that's pretty nice. I wasn't expecting that. There seem to be a lot here. So that's really awesome, actually. This makes me really feel like I got my money's worth with the purchase because I don't even know how, how many there are here because I can't count them this fast. Oh, but this one is definitely my favorite. This is really cool. This one's really awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to have to put some of these on my computer. But yeah, there's like there's at least 20 stickers here. So that's already a good start to this unboxing, in my opinion. And then let's just go ahead, get that bubble wrap out of the way. And then, oh, the tape is already broken down on one end. And I'm just going to rip it open. It's just easier. Uh, but here is the periodic table. It's a little bit thinner than I expected just on first grab, but let's go ahead and take the rest of the bubble wrap off of this so we can get a closer look at the item. So here is the periodic table in all its glory. Like I said, this is the updated version. I saw some people saying on Brickset that it still doesn't contain all Lego elements. I believe that's because this table doesn't include retired colors that are no longer produced by the Lego group. I think that's totally fair. While it would be cool to have a comprehensive table of every color, these are mass produced and it's really hard to get one by one pieces of some of those colors, like sand red I think I saw someone call out on Brickset as having maybe like never come in a one by one piece. And you can see they are all one by one pieces. Um, on first glance though, I, I don't love the variation. I kind of appreciate uniformity and while I think the one by one idea is really cool, I don't like that there are are some that are bricks and then some that are just studs. I would honestly prefer if they were all just one by one flat pieces, like all cheese slopes, studs, plates, because I think it's a little bit odd that some of them have bricks and then rounded bricks and others don't. But I also don't know. I think all of these colors come as like one by one flat pieces. Um, but yeah, oh wait. No, there are retired Lego colors on here. Because I see light gray there. Okay, so that's interesting. I don't know why all colors aren't included then. But let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer up look. First of all, like I said, it is a little bit flimsier than I expected. After paying $50 for this, I kind of, or $40, I guess, thanks Brickset, um, I didn't really expect it to be this bendable. So I kind of wish that it felt a little bit more premium. But the quality itself, I think, is really great. Like the printing looks nice. You do have the name up here, Periodic Table of the Lego Colors. Some people don't like that phrasing. It's because it's called the periodic table of the elements, but I agree. I would have preferred if the was left out and it was just like the periodic table of Lego colors. But you can see that this is version three from 2023. And it's the first one I have, because like I said, I did not know that this existed before Brickset advertised it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of the individual elements. So starting in the top left corner, we have white, spring yellowish green, neon yellow, uh, bright light yellow. I mean, I can't actually go through all of these names individually. There's going to be way too many of them, and I don't think anyone wants to sit here for like half an hour while I go through all of the names. So you can see what they are. It's, it's really easy to, you know, just guess the abbreviations because that's what I'm going off of. If you know Lego colors, obviously LN is light nougat. LR is lavender. That's interesting. I don't know. I, I like the abbreviations because, again, to me, they make a lot of sense. And I think they work as like little similar, like similar to the element like names, I guess. I don't really know like what 
the scientific names are called anymore. It's been a while since I did chemistry. Um, but I think that these are really cute little Lego approximations of the names. And like I said, there is a nice mix of one by one pieces. I do like the tiles and studs the best. I like the uh, cheese slopes and the one by one bricks a little bit less. But there is a little kind of style guide in the corner down here that lets you know which colors are solid, metallic, glitter, satin, or transparent. Oh, and then it even shows you the number of sets featuring the color. Oh, and then it's got Bricklink name and Lego name. Okay, I didn't even realize that because, again, this is the first time I'm looking at this. So we have production years. That's pretty nice. There's a lot of information in each of these things because I'm kind of just looking at the parts and not so much the information, but I'm happy to see that there's a nice amount of, of info here. This is a fingerprint magnet, though. You can see, like, that was, like, a fingerprint that I tried to, like, rub away. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to clean that before I put this up on a wall anywhere. And is this part... Yeah, this part's already coming off. Like, this part hasn't been glued down securely, I guess. So that's disappointing. I'm going to need to fix that myself. Again, that's just not really the kind of quality I would expect from a product that retails for 50 pounds. Um, so I'm not going to lie, that is a little bit disappointing to me, but I love seeing all of the Lego colors here. My favorites are metallic and satiny colors, so this section of the periodic table is probably my favorite, especially the new, the newer satiny colors. They're just, they're just really, really nice. Um, but I also really like how we have all of the transparent ones down here. If I can zoom out a tiny bit, I think that they look really nice all together and they really pop against the black background here. Down here in the corner, we have a hand numbered edition. So I got number 1118. That's a nice touch as well. And I do really like all of the information shown on each of these like individual element things. Um, again, now that I realize what the information is, like I think it's so cool that you see the number of sets and I find the production years to be very helpful. Um, I do think, though, that if there are outdated colors like light gray in use here, I don't really know why other outdated colors weren't included. It doesn't seem like there are that many retired colors included on this periodic table. So if I zoom out, you can pretty easily identify the out of production colors with the little gray boxes. So we have brown, light gray, dark gray. So that's three. Um, what's glow in the dark? That's a GDO. I don't know what that one is. I don't know why that's out of production. Um, glow in the dark opaque versus glow in the dark light. Okay, so that's a fourth out of production color. And then, oh, we have this. We have this shade of blue, which I don't know if I've actually ever even seen. That's Maersk blue. I don't know if I have any pieces in that color, actually. So that's kind of fascinating to me. Um, so that's our fifth out of production color. And then trans neon orange is the latest out of production color went out of production in 2022, which I'm kind of sad about because I didn't even realize that it went out of production last year until very recently. And I really like the trans neon colors. So that's a shame. But yeah, there's only six out of production colors on here. And we're missing a lot of stuff again, like sand red is like the clearest example I can think of. I don't know what other colors have gone out of production besides stuff like teal, which has come back. So I kind of wish it was either all in production colors or all out of production colors. Including trans neon orange makes sense to me because it just went out of production, but including stuff like light gray and brown and dark gray that went out of production in, I think they're like 2008 or 2009, I just don't really think they needed to be here. Um, because to me, it's kind of all or nothing. Like it's weird to have some that aren't in production anymore and then some that like we're just left off of this because it makes it like not a comprehensive periodic table. So I don't really understand the decision making behind that, but I'd love to learn more if, you know, the company comments on it. But overall, I think that this is a pretty cool product. Um, I just don't really think it's worth the money, honestly, after buying it. I think I can comfortably say that. It's just the flimsiness to me and then also the fact that these pieces aren't even glued down properly. And again, I paid 50 or almost 50 euros for this, more like 40. I don't I don't know if I was charged for shipping or not, but I paid at least 40 euros for this, which is like 42, 45-ish US dollars. 
And I just kind of think there's a lot more you can get for your money from the Lego group itself. This is a cool novelty item, but for that price, I wish it was a little bit higher quality and I wish it was a little bit more comprehensive or it was less comprehensive with no out of production colors and a little bit cheaper. So let me know what you guys think about this product in the comments below. If you want to buy it yourself, don't forget to use the code BRICKSET for 10% off your order. I don't get anything from it. I just think it's nice to get 10% off. Oh yeah, also 10% of 50 is not 10. So I did pay 45 euros for this. I can't do math. But, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.